So I've been thinking lately about spin art, and when you see paper pieces of spin art done, there's all kinds of little gadgets and toys, but I've also seen that you can do that with a salad spinner. And this is the basket out of mine. Honestly, I paid either a quarter or 50 cents for it at a garage sale a while back, the spinner pieces by my kitchen sink. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try it with glass. Why not, right? Uh, so for this, I've cut a six inch circle and I am going to attach some tabs and let me pause the camera and I'll show you how I did that. So one thing I noticed right away was that the basket obviously isn't completely flat in the bottom. So if I just set my piece of glass in here, it's hard to get this in the right camera angle, but it's not going to sit flat, which might not be a big deal, but I do want to affix it down a little bit with, I was thinking painter's tape, but then I had a better idea and I created some little tabs. And what I did was I bought the Scotch mounting squares and you get in these particular packages, there's four of them. And what they are is they're the double stick foam tape, but there's 16, there's four of these little sheets in a package. And I just took each one of the little squares and, and cut up or broke apart the four sub squares and I made tabs and I'm just going to do three of these on I'm going to I have cleaned my glass first although I've been handling it and it doesn't have to s totally stick and this I'm pretty much foreseeing being able to reuse these as long as they have a little bit of tack left on them it should work um, but we'll all find out together because I have not tried this before so I've got those little squares stacked I'm going to peel off the bottom sticky side and before I set it down in here I'm also thinking I might want a better way to lift it out of there so I thought I would create a couple of tape tabs um, using some of the painters tape it could go all the way across the bottom but I'm going to just create one on each side and I'll fold those over Nothing very precise here. I'm just thinking this might help lift it. At least to be able to get my hands around it in the spinner. So I've got the spinner basket. I've got my piece of glass with some tabs on it. I'm just going to actually fold this guy over. Sort of like making the tabs for stencils if you've ever done that. Masking tape, painter's tape, they both work well. I like them because they don't stick. Now I'm going to more or less center it, but I don't think it really matters. And you know what? My three height of tabs is not quite enough, so I might have to use the fourth one in this package. And anyway, I'm going to pause the camera and set that up, and we'll look at spinning shortly. Okay, I have some paints out, some enamels. Uh, the ones I have today are actually from Kaiser Glass. I thought I would pick some blue, some green, tiny bit of black maybe. Then I thought just for fun I've got some mica paint mixed up. I just, I've had this sitting mixed up in one of these little cups. That's why they're nice to keep on hand and had a lid on it and really all I had to do was stir it up and add just a little bit more medium to make it thinner. Uh, but what I'm going to do is <laughs> pretty simple. I'm just, and I have no idea how this is going to turn out, honest, not done it yet. But I do have my glass in here, and I'm just going to drop a little bit of each on here, and maybe not even anything special or scientific. I kind of wanted to do little blobs. And I know I don't want to overdo it with mica, because we know that mica only sticks to glass. It's not going to stick to anything else. So we're going to set that aside. I've got love this blue. I'm not even sure. Oh, royal blue is the color. And I know it's going to be hard to see the colors, but as soon as I'm done spinning, we'll take it out and put it on white paper. And I probably should have put on some gloves before I started this, but, you know, I was just so excited to try it. a little bit of paint there but a little bit of green and I may be putting way too much on 
I don't know, I never had a spin art toy as a kid, but what made me think of this was all the commercials for the Crayola exhibit at the mall, and I thought, hey, I want to do that in glass. Okay, give me a peek. Here's what it is so far, and I'm just going to put a little bit of black. I guess that was more than just a little bit, but... All right. I'm going to pause the camera because I need to go get the rest of the salad spinner assembly and close up my paints so they don't dry out. And when I'm back, I am going to see what this does. All right, I have retrieved the rest of my salad spinner. Again, just a garage store find. I bet you could find them at Goodwill as well. I'm going to now set the basket inside here. I'm sure a lot of you have probably used a salad spinner. Pretty basic. Now, being glass versus paper, I don't know how heavy this is going to be, but we're about to find out. Here we go. That's some spinning. I might have overdone it, but we'll see. Well, it went a little bit, but I'm thinking maybe if I just sprayed maybe just a little water or even dropped a little alcohol on there, uh, I think water should be okay. And you know what? We'll find out if it's not. All I did was spritz a few drops on. I just want to see if it gets it to move a little more. Obviously, don't use something that you're going to go back and use in your kitchen for this. Um, this gives me an excuse to get a new salad spinner. Okay, well, it went a little more. And you know what? I think we could probably just add a little more paint. But maybe rather than do that, I'll just see if I drag tools through here. What does it do? Mm, not a lot. Okay. Kind of liked how it did with a little bit of water on there. too much. Again, we're learning together. Oh, now that did it. Okay, I know you can't see very well there. I'm going to lift it out and put it on a piece of white paper. Great thing, these enamels are, I believe, just soap and water cleanup. So I'll just take my salad spinner up. I think that is way cool. How about you? So I'm going to let that dry, and I've got plenty of other projects to work on this weekend, but I really like how that's looking, and as you can imagine, you can use lots of different color combinations. Uh, I used a little bit of mica. You wouldn't have to. You could use maybe other colors. I will be full fusing this, although I can fuse a little lower temperature and probably retain a good mica portion on there. So anyway, thanks for joining me to see how my... Uh, salad spin art glass turned out. I'm um, thinking I'm liking it. Of course, I'll grab pictures once it's all done and share as well. Thanks and have an awesome weekend. So as I took the original piece out and was going to let it sit to dry, I realized that those little tabs, the, the foam tape, a little bit too much adhesion. Uh, my piece was looking great and then of course I was grabbing it trying to tear the tape off and that didn't work. 
So I'm just trying a couple other different setups. This one, I literally just cut some pieces from a sponge and used some blue painter's tape. And it's not super sticky to the sponge, but I think it's gonna be enough for um, holding this in place. So I'm gonna redo the steps. I'm not gonna shoot them all on video, but once I am able to test this, uh, pulling this off after it's done, um, I'll share how that turned out. Okay, I thought I would go ahead and just shoot a little more video when I do the paints the second time. I was totally happy with how it turned out first time, so I'll try to repeat the same steps. Um, again, I've got some mica mixed up here with, this is from uh, Kaiser Glass. It's the, I don't even remember which gold this one is, but it's mixed with the Kaiser Flux and A14. So I'm just gonna blob. I should have used a different tool than the edge of my stir paintbrush stick, but I do have some different tools here, and I'm just going to take a little bit of each of the colors. Did notice that maybe like one little area didn't quite get it last time, so I'll add a little bit extra. green. And I'm fully expecting to need to add water to this this time. And this time I'll just do it with the first try. I know I'm wasting a little bit of here today, but in the interest of time. won't be sitting here too long so we'll go ahead and add some water and do the spin I think I need to refill my water bottle <laughs> okay it's probably hard to see in the video but as I spray that it almost looks like there's glass on top of it and I think that might be a good measure of the consistency like before. Might not have to go as many times this time since we added water at the beginning. Oh, well it rocked loose, but I'm going to stop right there and call that a win. Well, I'll put it on my piece of paper out here so you can see better. Hopefully I don't drop it into my paints. See, I got one of the tabs still stuck. That's okay. I'll just remove that now. That, let's see if I can get a closer picture about all the light reflection. That is uh, spin art on glass with a salad spinner and some fusible enamels and a six inch piece of 96 clear. I'll show you what it looks like after it fires, but I'm gonna let this sit aside this weekend while I work on some other projects. Thanks for watching.